Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today I am here with Sergio to discuss our predictions for the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct that was just announced. Sergio, how are you feeling? Hey Chewy, I'm feeling pretty amazing. I feel like it's our time finally. We have been so patient and it's time finally for some good new news. I know. I just, I'm hoping that people who have seen us every single post from <laughs> Nintendo where we're just saying, <laughs> when's the direct? When are you going to tell us about Animal Crossing? When, when, when? We've been doing this for years uh, at this point because <laughs> yeah. we have been waiting years and we are not so patient at this point. We are a month away <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for this game to come out. Um, but uh, before we get into our predictions, I did want to go over the quick information about the, uh, the direct that's happening. So first things first. The information is it's going to take place on February 20th, that sounds familiar, at 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern. And I don't know if you all know this, but I've been saying February 20th is going to be the direct for a long time now. Um, what, what do you think of that, Sergio? Yeah, it makes sense. It's a Thursday, a month before. It, it's, it made sense. It, it happened, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting roughly 25 minutes. It's going to be live streamed. It's going to be all about Animal Crossing and it's going to feature an in-depth look at Nook Inc.'s Deserted Island Getaway Package. Ooh. So it should be pretty good. I think they did this on purpose though too because if you look at the actual announcement it just says 2202020. It's just nothing but twos <laughs> and zeros. So it's, it's really nice. I'm, I'm really glad that we're finally getting some attention. But, Sergio, we've got to talk about our predictions here. And I think we have some similar things going on, but I think you'll be surprised by some of the things that I have in store here, too. Oh, nice. Um, so the first ones we actually wanted to talk about was, I think, special characters, right? Yes. Um, I think both of us in the past, before we kind of saw the, I guess, cover art for the game, we were really confused as to why we haven't seen any new characters yet, because it's not an Animal Crossing game without some new characters getting thrown in. So right. some of those have been leaked here and there. Um, there has been the Dodo, of course, we've finally seen on the cover art. And then we've seen the beaver, the new kind of beaver that reminds us of Chip on the cover art. And then we've seen a baby Joan type of character and then another kind of chameleon or lizardy character that could be um, just related to Nat yes. in some way. So I guess what are you thinking in regards to these characters? I'm thinking this is honestly in my opinion the biggest uh, question mark that we have especially fans that have been playing the games for a long time. We know these special characters at least the adult versions of them so we're really curious about who these uh, young uh, new characters are what their role is what's going to happen to their parents if they are their parents this <laughs> is the question of the day the special characters who are they who are these kids and how do we get them in the game yeah, and in case you all missed it, we did see a mysterious name show up in the Target pre-order. If you pre-ordered the physical game at Target, you are getting a journal that comes with a bit of a calendar on there. And one of the pages says CJ's birthday, you know? Right. So, who do you, which of these characters do you think is CJ? <laughs> oh, definitely Chip Jr. I'm going with that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Chip Jr. But <laughs> I, I want to follow that up by predicting some of the names for the other characters. Oh. We didn't really write these down, but Baby Joan, um, who I call Baby Joan as a reference to Baby Yoda because they're both adorable. Um, what do you think Baby Joan's name is going to be? Maybe Joanna or Jean. Oh, those are good. <laughs> I really like that. Um, I'm going to go with, I want to go with like a B name because they're kind of like a boar, you know? Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Brianna. Kind oh, of like nice. Joanna, but like, <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> um, and then there was the chameleon, of course. So wh what is your thought on their name? <laughs> Nathaniel. Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I was actually, it's good to go with Nathaniel, but I think there is a Nathaniel. I think there's a bear named Nathaniel. Oh, I think okay. there's a, a little duck named Nate. And I don't know if there's like a Nathan, that could be it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Because, you know, there is Nathan Drake, and Drake is, of course, a duck. Um, So... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. um, I'm. I'm. I was actually talking to Drama a bit about this, and she said that it could be a female lizard, right? And I was like, oh, then maybe it's Natalie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, that's so good. So yeah, yeah, I'm thinking if it's a work off of Nat, who already exists, I think Natalie is a good choice for this <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you think, now here's, a, here's another question for you. Do you, uh, do you think there's going to be any more special characters that we don't know about yet? Yes, I feel like if we're getting the baby characters of the ones that have leaked so far, I would be surprised if not all of them have them. I mean, even KK, that's crazy to think about. That's really exciting. But I think everyone is going to have the little kid version of them. Yeah, that's true. And do you think there's two dodos or one? I would expect two. One would be at the airport all the time and one would be flying the actual plane. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's going to be two. I'm going to predict that there's one still. Mm. I, 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 I think there's going to be some surprises with the airport that <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure I can make a prediction for that yet. But I'm going to predict there's one dodo versus two. Okay, nice. Yeah. So, Sergio, I kind of led that with the the characters. Tell me what's your next prediction for the game. So, definitely, the babies are going to be a big reveal, I think. We're all very curious about them and and, and any other special characters. I feel like if there's new amenities, new buildings, they're going to talk about them for sure. Like you said, it's going to be 25 minutes. We're going to get a lot of information and a lot of answers um a lot of questions are going to be answered so that includes new buildings and their new special characters we don't know what they are Mm. but i feel like we're getting i want to say at least two new special characters that we don't know about not including the dodo so it's the dodos and two more okay cool and i guess uh do you have ideas for like what kind of shops we're gonna see based on them hmm Honestly, not at this point. Hopefully, there's something with the crafting, although it seems like Tom, Timmy, and Tommy are going to be in charge of that, but maybe eventually you unlock something more sophisticated that requires uh, a very unique special character. Okay, cool. I like that because I I have some specific predictions about shops as well. I think... I think you're spot on with like Nook and Timmy and Tommy kind of handling a lot of it. Right. But I think we're going to see shops in a very different way. And I think they're going to show up on a separate island, similar to how the cover art has Harvey in a different island, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, So we've seen Harvey has his own island. It's got kind of some weird things going on. I have some predictions about that as well. But I think we're going to be taking a sailboat to other islands and those islands are going to have different shops. And these shops are going to be essentially like, you know, kind of traveling to the mainland to maybe visit the Abel sisters before they actually settle up in your island, you know? Right. Um, Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to give us access to some shops before they can actually get built on your island, because I think a lot of this is going to be really trying to get... um, your place to grow, trying to get more businesses there, trying to get more islanders living there. So one of the things that I thought about was Harvey's shop seems to have a camera icon on the front of it, like on the door. I think we're going to be filming different videos to advertise our island to villagers and shop owners. Oh, I think uh, that's my prediction here. I think we're going to use that little section to make a kind of advertisement for your video. I think what they showed us in that January um, kind of ad was a a little precursor to that. Like we saw Ah. the island from up above and saw all that sort of thing. And then the uh, the animals were all like, oh, that looks like a really great place to live. I'm going to go try to live there, you know? And that would work really well with the mobile app, so you can share your videos right there. Yeah, that would be really cool. I would. Lo- oh man, I would love a mobile app <laughs> uh, for that. Um, maybe we'll get into that a little bit later because I do want to predict something in regards to the mobile <laughs> app. Nice. Um, but yeah, no, I think Harvey's shop is going to be like the destination kind of material that you make where you're like oh this is the place to be because mm. they did i remember an interview that mentioned that we're going to be able to get villagers in an interesting way 
So I think this is going to be the interesting way to get villagers. Um, mm. And one thing I actually overlooked uh, before I forget it is when we're traveling uh, on the sailboat, I think we're going to meet some fun, familiar faces like Rover and Blanca. And we're probably going to be able to paint Blanca's face once again. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, because we've got to have that make a return. It was yes. kind of it was cool having Blanca show up for April Fool's Day in New Leaf, but I really miss drawing her face. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. So what do you think about all these ideas? <laughs> they they are pretty awesome. And I'm even thinking further. So if there's going to be multiple islands, do you think eventually you're going to be able to connect them so that you don't have to go on the sailboat all the time? I would personally really love it if they got connected because I, I'm not a huge fan of the kind of the wait times involved with having to go to the shops, right. if that's the case, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a big, pr a big pusher of the idea that I want shops integrated onto the island. I want to be able to choose where I place them. Yes. And I want to be able to decorate around them. That's kind of the, most of the fun behind oh. being able to choose where the shops are. Because now that we can decorate the exteriors, it makes it way more interesting a setting, you know? Yes. Yeah. So I, I, I like that question. I really, I want... I, I don't know how smoothly it would work because, you know, we've seen kind of that northern edge, but not too great. But maybe mm -hmm. we can expand to those different islands or maybe uh, and this is going to be a prediction of mine a little bit later. Spoiler. But maybe we can just expand the island and yeah. eventually be able to just invite shop owners to be there. So, right. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get more specific about that later. But yeah, do you have anything else to predict about the shops and stuff? Well, sort of related to the shops, I feel like Nintendo is finally going to show us what a full island looks like. Um, mm. Basically, l l even going back to your prediction about the video, I think they're going to show us an overhead view again. And it's going to be the full island and it's going to be fu fully populated. We're going to get an idea of how many tiers there are, how we access them. We're going to see the stairs from different angles if they're back. We're going to see all the buildings, all the shops. It's, it's going to be a quick view. I'm hoping, I'm expecting. Thing, but it's gonna be a, a nice way for us to know okay this is what a full island looks like it doesn't look small there's plenty of room here uh, I'm looking forward to that I hope that happens yeah I think that'd be really great I think there are a lot of people I, I've seen who don't really want to see it but I'm like you know you're gonna play this game so different from what they're gonna show us right that, like it's probably not gonna match your taste you're gonna have a different layout to your island it's gonna be like you know, you're just going to want to do things in your way. So I feel like seeing that sort of stuff isn't too much of a spoiler or too bad. So for me, I'm just like, yes, give it all. Yes. I want to see. Because, you know, like once we're actually playing too, we're going to be watching other people play and see their style and see how they express that through their islands. So I don't know. I feel like Animal Crossing is just like, it's so much about self-expression that I don't think that's going to feel like a spoiler to me. Yes, you're right in that if we see that, it's going to be just for one layout out of so many different options that there are. And like you said, even even two towns with the same layout, you can make them so different by the way you decorate, especially now mm -hmm. with outdoor decorating. So it's going to be very different. I think it's a, it's a non-issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for me, uh, same. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see you everything that yes. can possibly show us. <laughs> um, so I guess I, I, from here, I want to move into crafting because I do have some crafting predictions. I think once we're looking at the island, we're going to get a much deeper look into how the crafting system works, specifically like things like crafting different flooring items. We've seen that we're able to, I guess, pave pathways through our town, but I want to see how specific we can get with a lot of these items. We've seen a lot of items of clothing, for example, that are the same item of clothing, but different color, you know? So I'm, I'm predicting right now that the crafting is going to go beyond just creating an item. It's going to really go into customizing our items as well. So oh, nice. Nice. Uh, this is something we've had a little bit of in, I guess, Happy Home Designer. We were able to uh, essentially place an item, but then we could pick it up and remodel it, kind of refurbish it. And mm -hmm. this job was done in New Leaf through Cyrus, essentially. 
Yes. I think if Reese and Cyrus... Oh, I'm going to be really sad if Reese and Cyrus aren't in the game because I really do like those characters a lot. But I think a lot of their job that they had as far as like refurbishing... Um, furniture, mm -hmm. I think that's going to translate into our crafting materials. I think we're going to be able to take our crafting materials, turn them into bricks and stuff, give something a different flavor, a different look, you know? Right. And essentially do that with our clothing too because we we weren't able to refurbish clothing with cyrus before but i think that's going to be something that we can do this time around and i guess the one that sticks out to me is this are the shoes that we've seen a lot of in the game i think there's a, one style of shoe that just like keeps popping up in different colors so mm -hmm. i think that's that's going to be their main focus with the crafting how it's going to be used as customization versus just creating an item that's right. And I feel like, you know, recent Cyrus could still be a, a big part of the game. Maybe when you have something built already, whether it be just a small outdoor decoration or, or something bigger that would be sort of considered a public works project. Maybe if you want to change the color once it's built, that's when recent Cyrus would take over. You, they might just charge you bells or they might charge you a little bit of materials, but not as many materials as it took to, to build the item in the first place. Yeah, and you know what? I think I think Reese and Cyrus are going to be an alternative to having to collect all the materials yourself. I right. think you just pay the money. Yeah, I think you're spot on with that idea. So, um, yeah, if please keep Reese and Cyrus in the game. <laughs> yes, um, yes. I predict they're they're going to be in it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, okay, so this actually makes me remember another prediction that I didn't have written down here, but I'm going to predict that. I, there are going to be ways to craft a lot of these things, but one of the new kind of features that we have is being able to customize how we look. And and but what I mean by that is like our facial features, our skin tone, our hair color, all of that is going to be something that we pick, you know? Right. And so a lot of people are thinking like, oh, this doesn't leave much room for characters like Harriet to be in the game anymore. And I'm like, no, I feel like Harriet should still be in it. And I think that should allow us to unlock just specialized, I guess, wigs or uh, hairstyles that we couldn't do on our own, mm -hmm. you right. know? Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to have like a limited selection of things that we can do to our character's appearance. But when we unlock Harriet, I think it's going to take that to the next level and just give us way more things that we can do to our appearance for sure. Right. I mean, even a simple sort of solution to that would be that Harriet is going to unlock all the new clothing and hairstyles that we have seen. So from the beginning, you can pick whatever we have had in the previous games. But if you want a brand new one, and we have seen a good amount of those, you would have to unlock Harriet. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be a good way to kind of like give you some basics to really make you have fun at the start, but like reward you for getting further in the game by yes. unlocking more of that. Because I don't really want to see all the hairstyles right away. I want to be surprised a little bit later by some that come in the future, you know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, another one based off of that, I think Leaf is going to still come into the game and really introduce a lot of different trees and greenery that we can grow. Um, oh, nice. I, I, you know me, I obsess about trees all the time. The, the, the cedar trees, they're my, they're my faves. <laughs> but I really want to see like the birch trees from Pocket Camp show up in this game. I want to see all the different style trees from Pocket Camp that we've seen. Um, because they, they've put in like a lot of really cool, unique looks, you know? And I think that really adds to the type of landscape that we can experience in our island. So right. I, I, I want to see a bunch of really new greenery that we've never seen before especially like pumpkin patches and stuff like that oh nice yeah because uh, it's it, the seasonal stuff is really exciting to me yes <laughs> yeah I, i'm really excited to see like all of the things that we can craft seasonally for sure yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, seasonal crafting items would be great. Uh, like we've said before, even some that are multiplayer exclusive and you can only get them while you're playing multiplayer, that would be nice as well. Uh, as far as crafting, uh, a prediction, something that I don't think we're going to see in this track, but we're going to have to wait until the final game, is going to be 
how much we can collect of the crafting items every day. I think Nintendo mm. doesn't want to spoil that, so we're going to have to find out in the game. I'm okay with that. Uh, it's going to be surprising. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, that'll be really interesting. I'm, on, I'm wondering, and I'm, I have some things about like how to go about keeping that system going because I imagine like weeds, maybe they're not used for everything, but they're used for a lot of things. But once you've picked them all, like where do you get the weeds from there? Right. <laughs> <laughs> for crafting materials. So yeah, who knows? Um, it, it'll be a mystery until then, but I think it'll be a fun one to discover as we play. Right. Mm hmm. Um, so what's what's your next prediction, Sergio? So this is a it's a small one, and you know, as as Animal Crossing fans, sometimes the small things are really big in our hearts and really important. One of them being the town or the island name, and I feel like if we're finally gonna have more than eight characters to use, I feel like they're gonna mention that. Yeah, that would be really cool. Um, it's something like I, I feel they know all the little things that we want addressed. And I feel like they've been doing a good job of showing us a little bit of what they're doing. But yeah, give us more characters to name our town. Because I think people are anxious to know what they can call their town. Right. And it's going to be essentially a real bummer if they find out day of that they still only have eight characters to work with. And the name they've been hoping for just can't be done the whole time. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. um, I think that's, that's a great prediction. I love it. <laughs> Um, for me, I guess I want to go into Dodo Airlines a bit. <laughs> um, I think we're going to meet the Dodo character. I think they're going to take us through a big adventure and really show off the multiplayer and how it's going to work. Um, mm. Before they talk about the multiplayer, no, I'll focus on like kind of the online multiplayer. I think they're going to show us... Um, no, actually, before I talk about multiplayer, there was something <laughs> I I had that uh, that was more pressing. I think they're going to show off the Nook Miles, specifically the different destinations that we can get to with the Nook Miles, and mm. I think they're going to be able to. Uh, I think we're going to be able to go to very rare locations or very hidden away locations that will allow us to collect rare crafting materials, or maybe it's a island with a bunch of weeds so if you really want a oh. bunch of of uh, crafting materials that you d can't necessarily find on your island anymore right this will be the way to do it um so i think dodo airlines is going to really unlock more islands for us and just get us more materials to really grow our island even bigger this is very nice. It's giving me some pocket camp vibes, but good ones. <laughs> it's like having different areas that you can go to. You know, it takes a little time or bells or what mm -hmm. have you. But when you need a special resource, like you said, that you run out in your island, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. So that that's basically my idea around it. And I, I hope they make it fun to go to these islands because... When you say it gives me Pocket Camp vibes, I remember back when I was playing Pocket Camp on a really terrible slow phone. <laughs> uh, it was just such a pain to go to other places. Yeah. So I don't want it to be a pain to go to these islands in using this, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so what's your next prediction? So uh, a little bit of a spoiler, I guess, on, on yours coming up. But definitely, I think it's finally time for them to go into more detail on the multiplayer particularly eight player online multiplayer because <laughs> we've been waiting on that we want to know a lot more details i'm kind of curious if we're going to be able to send little preset chat messages there um, i'm hoping that's the case yeah i really hope they handle the i guess typing to each other and everything really well um mm -hmm. i'm hoping we can use like kind of gyro controls on the keyboard because i think going through with the uh, with the uh, just sticks you know it takes so long i want to yes. be able to just like aim pretty instantly with the gyro yes um mm -hmm. aiming but we'll see what they do with that i i, I hope they do that i guess i'm not predicting it because i don't think they will <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um the uh, i guess with the multiplayer i'm gonna predict that we're gonna get some cool island mini games like before like in new leaf but mm. we're gonna get really cool variations of them so some of them will be four versus four mini games and i'm gonna predict one mini game here i think one is gonna be a shooter with slingshots and we're gonna have to pop oh. balloons that we have on ourselves <laughs> <laughs> nice 
Yeah, so uh, the enemy will have some balloons on them. You have to shoot them with your slingshot to pop their balloons. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That, and that's mostly to just make it as least violent as possible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's your next prediction, Sergio? This is uh, very safe. I think they're going to touch very quickly on the New Horizons Switch or the uh, mm. Animal Crossing New Horizons Limited Edition Switch that's coming pretty much one week before, um, at least in North America. So I feel like they're going to mention it again just very quickly. Hey, you can get this as well. And they're going to have, you know, the region-specific date and if it comes with a game or not because it's different on every region. But it's, it's a nice little reminder. That's cool. That's uh, yeah. I really I want to see it again. I want to get another l quick little look at it, and I am so excited to get mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I guess my final prediction I have here. I went through these. Pr I feel like I went through these pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the last one I want to reiterate is expanding the island. I think once we're finally paying off, done paying off our loan to Tom Nook, he's gonna say, "Hey." So, you know, you've got a house now. It's pretty big. What, I feel like we need some more room here to let people in. Let's expand the island. So I think he's going to finally give us the ability to expand the island, make it bigger, just grow our place so we can have more room for more villagers to come in, have more room for more shops to come in, you know? Yes, so nice. I think, I think that's going to be the big overarching goal of the whole game developing your island right to be as as magnificent as possible oh that sounds awesome yes yeah i'm all about that <laughs> <laughs> nice and you know having a bigger island i mean we don't know yet if we're gonna be able to move the existing buildings wherever but the more room we have the better um the the more options we can have whatever either if you want all the shops near to themselves like in a single quote-unquote main street type location or if you want them spread out among the villager houses either way the more room we have i think it's the better and, and even for outdoor decorating yeah for sure i think just uh, I, i'm a fan of space and i want to be able to hoard as many things as possible and use as many things as possible around my town too yes. so <laughs> yeah i'm all about it especially with like our ability to make fa fences and finally like make distinct areas in your town it's gonna be so cool yeah, definitely. Um, cool. So I think you have uh, some more uh, predictions. Let's hear them. Yes. And I feel like, you know, we're very excited and it's almost time. By the time we watch this trick, it's going to be one month. And that's uh, that's basically all we have to wait. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Nintendo knows that. And we're, we're all very excited. But Nintendo is going to want us to be excited for something in the future. And I feel like it's going to be one of three different things. Either... They're going to talk about DLC for New Horizons, something like a season pass, or I was even thinking something like an island pass where you're going to be able to go to different islands eventually. Um, this this is something, if it happens, I'm thinking Nintendo is working on it still. So they're going to mention it, but we don't have all the details yet. We might get something, I don't know, maybe towards the end of the year or early next year. Um, so that's one option. Another option would be a big update to Pocket Camp, something that introduces the crafting that we have in New Horizons. It's a little bit different than the one in Pocket Camp, so I feel like if they want to extend the life and the appeal of Pocket Camp, they might want to try to make it a little bit like New Horizons. There might be like an island location that they would add, so something like that. It could also be coming to Pocket Camp. Or the third and final option uh, for something in the future would be details on how they actually plan to integrate pocket camp into new horizons how are they going to be tied how are the special events or items or crafting going to be connected um, again i feel like that would be coming in the future but nintendo would want to i don't know hook us for something later on to keep us excited mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah no these are these are all really awesome i definitely i'm i'm open to a big dlc season pass type of thing um, my initial hope is just like, you know, the, the same studios usually working on Animal Crossing and Splatoon. So like my initial hope is that like the first year it's just like free updates every yes. single month, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I would love that. I think a lot of people would really love that and just feel like, man, Nintendo is really spoiling us right now. <laughs> Cause I feel like we're at the point where we need some spoiling. Nintendo has a lot of making up to do because <laughs> we have been waiting so long for yes. this. Yes. 
Um, so uh, that's what I want. But like later, I want, I, I do want a DLC pack. I want like a twenty dollar package that. I don't know, maybe they're like, oh, you can start a new island on your same Switch <laughs> because oh, we nice. need a cheaper way to start a new island rather than just buying a, a whole nother Switch to do so, <laughs> yes. you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm open to a season pass type of thing for sure, but I think the first year I just want free stuff for the first year. Yeah, that makes sense, and I'm all for that as well. Uh, you reminded me of one more prediction that I have, and I feel like... They are going to touch on cloud saves and how they're going to work and the plans that they have for future. It's going to be very quick, but I feel like they're going to mention it, especially because we just earlier today, we got announced a new switch light color, the mm. coral pink. And in some areas like here in North America, it's going to come out after New Horizons. So some people might have their islands already. And if they want to get that new switch light, they're going to have to transfer and we don't know how that's going to work. So I feel like they're going to touch on that on the direct. Yeah, that's a good point. I think it's important for them to talk about backups because it's been a conversation for a long time for a lot of people of how do we make sure that our island is going to be safe. And now that we know it's going to be one island per switch, and if that one switch is lost and potentially eight people lose in their entire progress, it's going to be a real, a real bummer for the consumer, yeah. you know? So I think they need to talk about the the plans to back up things and give us kind of a timeline if even if not exact like an estimate of like right. when they're going to be implementing this so, right mm -hmm. yeah no that, that's a good point to bring up for sure um yeah but i guess i'm, I'm fresh out of ideas I, i feel sergio i mean i could probably think of more but i think <laughs> for this video i think we're gonna be good how are you feeling <laughs> yeah i feel like we said it's 25 minutes and you know we had the treehouse which was pretty lengthy but i feel like that was more on the spot <laughs> if you will so mm -hmm. this direct is gonna be more streamlined it's gonna be more planned ahead so i feel like we're gonna get a jam-packed 25 minutes of goodness and i cannot wait for it <laughs> yes you're totally right they've been working on this i literally was talking to emily with one cookie earlier today and i said <laughs> there's somebody out there right now working on getting footage for a Nintendo Direct for Animal Crossing. <laughs> and lo and behold, <laughs> today they announced there's a Direct for Animal Crossing. So maybe somebody was getting some footage, but I imagine it's done <laughs> at this point. I imagine they have it all set up. They they know exactly what they're going to show us. And we're, we're here to be surprised. <laughs> yes. Um, it's at 6 a.m. for you, Sergio, which you're always up at what? Three in the morning? <laughs> yeah, 3 a.m. nowadays. <laughs> yeah, so you're you're gonna be watching it. Um, I plan on it's at 7 a.m. for me. So I'm just an hour ahead. I plan on being up about 30 minutes early, get some water in me, wake up a little bit, and start, of course, streaming my own reaction to it. So nice. Um, if you all want to join in, Sergio, if you want to be on with me, you're all, you're welcome, of course. Yeah, sounds awesome. Um, so yeah, we're we'll be here. We'll be covering it uh, for all of you who don't know Sergio and I we host Haken an Animal Crossing podcast it is the longest running Animal Crossing podcast on the internet we're currently at 118 episodes and counting so every every week we've got hour-long discussions about this game so if you're just tuning in for the first time here stick around we've got a lot of really great content coming and we make videos and just do a lot of really great stuff for Animal Crossing <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I guess it's direct time. It's time to see what happens with this game. <laughs> yes, finally. All right, we'll see you all later. Goodbye, everybody.